Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and welcome to a new week in my life. I am finally starting on a Monday. I feel like the past few week in my life videos have been starting on Tuesdays. I'm not really sure. It's like been holiday weekends and then I'm just like, I need Monday to catch up, but I am going to do full five days this week. I post these every Sunday so you guys can like relax and unwind. I know I have so many of my favorite YouTubers that post on Sundays, so I look forward to that day of like cleaning the house and then finally getting into bed showered clean hair fresh skin and just watching and binging all my favorite youtubers on sundays it's like my favorite thing to do um but this week i feel like i have like a lot of random just like appointments another cavity filling which is going to be super fun um and then what else i need to do something with my car my headlights are like dim I think I got the parts in, but I need to find someone to put them in now, so that might be the harder part. I'm excited for this week because I feel like last week I was kind of just like down in the dumps. I posted um, an unedited day in my life, my first ever, and it was really fun to just like, first of all, not have to really edit it. <laughs> Second of all, just to like see the things that I would have edited out, but like I legit couldn't because I was doing an unedited day in my life. And it's so funny that, like, I stutter so much, but, like, I, you know, cut it out and everything. I just feel like keeping it in, it almost felt, like, just more, like, real. Well, obviously, I feel like an unedited day in my life should be real. But I don't know how to ex describe it. I just felt, like, felt good about it, you know, and not embarrassed like I usually am. Because, like, I get so embarrassed when I stutter so much. But I, something about, like, speaking into a camera is not normal. So it definitely intimidates you and scares you. And I know if you guys have, like, a YouTube channel or a vlog channel, like, you would totally understand. At least I would hope so. But anyways, let me know if you guys liked that format of video. Just, like, the more not edited version. And I might be doing more of those soon. In the start of the vlog, I just really wasn't feeling my best. I had just gotten back from California and I feel like travel really messes up with like my routine and my schedule and my work schedule. And I just don't know how to seamlessly like get back into all that kind of stuff. So I was just like, I don't know, a little hard on myself last week, but I am ready to get the new week started. And I um, told you guys about my habit app, like that I downloaded literally, I think on Friday or Thursday of last week. Um, and so I'm going to try to like hit all those habits every single day. I can get more into that later on when I have my phone. I don't know where it is right now. Um, but at this moment, I'm about to head out the door because I'm going to meet my friend Natasha at Soho House. It's on South Congress. I personally don't have a membership to Soho House, but whenever my friends ask me to go, like I always say yes. I just don't know if like the membership's worth it for me because I feel like I would get sick of a place if I went there so often. Like, and then I would have to force myself, and then parking on South Congress is not, like, super easy. I mean, there's paid parking, but if you're already paying for Soho House, like, I wouldn't want to, like, pay for parking. And the food and drinks are, like, really good, but they're super expensive, so every time I go, I always want something, because you're, like, there for, like, hours on end working, and you just, like, want a little cute little beverage, you know, or, like, a little snackity snack, but it's not cheap. And I just feel like if I ever did get a membership... I, it would, it would be bad for like the financials. <laughs> so I'm trying to hold off as long as I can and just take advantage of my friends that have so House memberships. Um, but yeah, like I said, I, I just feel like I would get sick of going to the same place every single week because to make it worth it, I think, I don't know how many times I would have to go, but like at least twice a week or maybe at least once a week. But I don't know. I feel like I would just get sick of it. And I do like being at home because most of my creative work is like admin work. And then I'm just like going back and forth between creating content. So like I feel better when I'm at home because I can like really quickly put on makeup or do my hair and then film something. You know what I mean? So I definitely appreciate like my work from home setup, but I do love being social and like getting to see people and especially like just talking with my creative friends, they give me so much more motivation. It's insane, like, the, like, how I feel after walking away from them. Like, I feel so, like, empowered, and we just, like, bounce off ideas, and we give each other ideas, and it's so nice. And even just by me talking about ideas to them, like, for what they should do, it motivates me even more. So I just really, really like to do it, and I love to, like, set up little coffee dates just to get myself out of the house, because I think last week, that was another thing, I wasn't really getting out of the side of the house as often. Um, and I think I just realized that, like, I really need to, like, just 
do that. Like plan stuff and get the hell outside of the house because like home is great and you know I pay rent for a reason and I decorated it for a reason so I could have like my safe space but social interactions are so important to me. Here's the fit. We have this tank top bodysuit thing from Abercrombie and Fitch. Honestly, one of my go-tos. These pants are from Z Supply. I got them on Red Dress Boutique, but seriously, so comfortable. And then these shoes are from Dolce Vita. They're like this canvas texture, super cute. And then I'm pretty sure this particular one, yeah, this one's from Amazon. This little button down, and it is such good quality. I've literally been searching for the best button down on Amazon, and I finally found it. It is one size, but it's pretty like long and like oversized, so. Highly recommend and then all my jewelry is from Goriana. I feel like I never really wear necklaces anymore and I need to because I have such cute ones so I want to start like really accessorizing intentionally because I always just have these like bracelets on from Goriana and earrings like I never change them out so I really want to be like more intentional with that but so this is the overall fit and just want to make sure I was like super comfortable. With Natasha, we just got done at Soho House, and she was freezing her butt off in there. I'm always cold. Though. <laughs> yeah, it's it, like it was. Yeah, it, we just like walked out. We just like completely thawed off. Um, and now we're going home. Oh, also, like, did you say it was like 50% off food today? Oh yeah, oh, on even, Monday. Like, I didn't even know. I, was like, I forgot completely. But yeah, yeah Monday's <laughs> at Soho House, 50% off. That's, but you have to tell them. You have to be like, oh, hey. That's weird. Yeah, like I want the discount. That's oh. why she came and asked at the end, and I oh, was like, so weird. Yeah. Home from Soho House, and I didn't get much done because I feel like we just talked a lot. And for some reason, the music was really distracting in there. So I still have a lot of work to get done because I invited my friends over for bachelor night. It is Monday, and I need some caffeine. So that's what we're doing. I'm going to do some chai. Scratching it off. And some oat milk. I just saw that some oat milks on TikTok, well, I saw the TikTok that told me that some oat milks, like Oatly, have like bad things in them. I can't remember what the name was, but basically like really microplastic things. So just be aware. I love this one from HEB. Obviously HEB is not everywhere, which sucks. Cause if I ever move away, I will definitely miss HEB. I feel like I was that way with Publix. Like I went to school in Florida. I was raised in Georgia, so I always had Publix around. They had the best cakes and I wasn't like super into pub subs just cause like, I mean, sandwiches are good, but like I never really craved them or got them like as much as it seems like everyone else did. Um, but I did love Publix. I don't know why it just was like a safe space, but now I feel like HEB is even better cause they have just so many pre-made stuff and Ooh, I bought some spring rolls from there and I'm definitely gonna eat them. That sounds good. I got like an avocado toast at Soho House. I was really, really trying to like to keep myself full here. So I made a protein shake, but I was starving there. So I was like, I had to do it. Also, it was 50% off and we didn't even know. So <laughs> that was amazing. It's currently like 5 20 5 10 and my friends are gonna come over in an hour i'm rushing to get some more content done i've honestly just been creating a lot of tiktoks which is so fun for me and outdoor voices is having a sale for like a couple days and they sent me some sets so i'm gonna try them on but i wanted to do like those fast unboxing videos so i have my tripod my phone is like on 20 percent, but it's gonna be okay I think that should be enough. So I bought this tripod. I know somebody asked on my last vlog what this tripod is. It is pricey. So I really don't think it's like worth it. Basically the point of this tripod or like the reason why I bought it is because it's made out of like carbon something. So it's really lightweight. So for that reason, it's super expensive. And I like justified it because I'm a photographer and you know, this is my business and I really wanted a full tripod that I can put my DSLR on or mirrorless camera on. I feel like there are so many more affordable iPhone tripods, so I can go ahead and link some down below that I've heard on TikTok that are really good. But 
honestly this is not worth it just to buy for an iPhone tripod I just wanted like a lightweight but sturdy tripod for both iPhone and mirrorless but this is the peak design what's it called I don't know their travel tripod so that is the one I use and then there's like shorter ones that y'all are on um that those are a little bit cheaper um but I pull up my camera app and I think I said this in my last vlog but I like to zoom in a lot I don't know why it just gives it a little like cool vintagey look okay so I'm gonna go film this try all these on and I'll sh try to show you guys what they look like on first up we have this cami it comes with like a built-in bra and I feel like it's just really flattering like very snatching and it is not like completely black these biker shorts are black also these are from Amazon they're so good so freaking good I'll link them down below so comfortable and so freaking affordable um but back to this it's not completely black as you can see it's like almost like a little hint of gray it's still very flattering and I'm pretty sure everything is size large I am really in my color era these days I love this color on me I just feel like it makes me pop imagine me on ladybird lake trail wearing this outfit I love it. Seriously, this color is like everything. Did forget to show you guys the one before this, so I will insert it here. It's, it's giving very much wife of a pro golfer, which honestly, I might be one day. Ryan's out there every day putting in the work. Let's manifest that, okay? But this is the last piece I got from Outdoor Voices. It is a lot more like highlighter color in person. Not sure if the camera's really picking up the color. I think online it kind of looked like a little bit more muted, like matcha green but it's definitely like a highlighter green in person but that is my outdoor voices haul it is tuesday and i feel like a lot has happened already it's currently 3 p.m <laughs> like where has the freaking day gone but basically i woke up i went straight to the dentist early in the morning to get my last cavity filled and so like my mouth was totally swollen even like my throat was swollen it was so hard to swallow this morning i immediately came home and then ryan and i took sophie to the groomers because her fur was just getting so freaking long especially the face fur and it was just getting a little matted and we haven't been in a while so you're just like let's just we'll just take her get it over with um and they turned her into a rat so come here come here come show show your haircuts okay brace yourselves it is not good she looks like a little rat now a rat dog it's very sad show be what happened? What they do to you? <laughs> she they basically took off like all her beard because you know it was matted, so like I can't really be mad at them. But goodness, she looks beautiful. I feel like in two weeks she'll be like totally fine looking. I thought we could do like a little makeup tutorial together because the last makeup tutorial I did, I chose a different foundation than the one I wanted to show you guys today. I bought these two skin tints at the same time because I've just heard so many things about them, but I ended up using the rose ink one in that video. But this time I'm going to be using the rare beauty one because I've actually been using this every single day. It is honestly my new favorite thing because it doesn't feel like you're wearing anything. Like it is no joke so freaking good um but before that let's moisturize i've been using the charlotte tilbury magic cream um for like kind of like a primer and just like some deep hydration before putting on makeup for the day today i'm doing a brand deal with amazon and i guess technically it's content creation because i don't have to post it on my own channels it's literally just for the amazon influencer programs i think instagram slash youtube channel possibly so i already went ahead and outlined everything that i was going to say because i didn't want to forget anything and like have to reshoot it okay i just like put it on my face just in case like nothing gets absorbed by the beauty blender and i don't know like i thought this was a good color match it is like when i blend it all out but sometimes I'm just like, is it too dark? I can't tell. Okay, we'll just start with that. I can't really see very well because I'm like looking at my camera viewfinder. But seriously, this is like the best foundation, especially for the summer where you just want something really light on your skin. Nothing really heavy. I still do need to get a refill of my 
Charlotte Tilbury foundation because I've been missing a full coverage face though. I've still been using the same concealer that I used in my last makeup video. It's the NARS, um, what is it called? Radiant Creamy Concealer. I feel like the sun is going in and out, in and out. It's so annoying, but I'm just gonna put it pretty much everywhere. I love this because it really doesn't crease, so I never used to put concealer like on my smile lines and like right around my nose, but now I do because I'm like taking advantage that it doesn't crease. I love my Dips Beauty Stick for contour, so I just do it on my nose, my cheeks, forehead, and chin. Last product I wanted to show you guys was this Rose Ink Fox Glove because I feel like I put it on differently than I showed in my last makeup video. But I like this sun-kissed look. Kind of just like right here. Almost like in a line. And just blend it out. And it's just so cute and again, sun-kissed. I hope everything looks blended. I'm going to go do the rest of my face in my bathroom. But again, I just want to share my base routine with you guys since I've been just using a different foundation. I highly recommend this thing. This also has SPF 20. So love that. Okay, I'm all ready. This is hair and I'm really feeling the dark hair. I'm just really, really feeling it. I love it. So glad I went back dark. She's keeping the order that she wouldn't let them touch her feet or hands. She's a feisty one, is it? Or, she? No, her face or her feet. So you can look like a little sleep paralysis demon. <laughs> can you get out of here? My mouth is sore from like smiling and talking so much because I feel like I need to be like more peppy and smiley if it's like someone else's brand, you know? Um, almost like I'm an announcer. Like I, I felt like I was like getting my little broadcast television back. If you guys didn't know, I majored in radio television broadcast. I just didn't do the production track. I did like the generalist track because I was stupid. <laughs> I honestly didn't really learn that much from college. Like I'm not going to even lie to you guys. Like I learned everything from outside experiences like i had a couple jobs and internships and all of that kind of stuff and just like networking was like the biggest takeaway for me from college because i feel like well i wouldn't have gotten my first post-grad job it's come that time of the year again where rush talk is happening on tiktok and i'm so jealous i just wish more than anything that i could just like be stuck in a house for two weeks with all my sorority sisters i'm like literally that one psycho girl in the sorority that loves her sorority so much because I was like the PR girl for two years. So I was like super involved and I just really, really liked it. I was constantly surrounded by girls and I love just having girls around. It flew by way too fast, that's all I gotta say. But it is currently 5.24 and now I have to quickly make brownies for our little get together today. I don't even know if I told you guys this, but one of my friends is going away for like a month on this like really awesome USA like road trip and she's just like going to hit all these cities. It's amazing So we're gonna go and see her for the last time I think Unless we can like hang out later this week, but just in case we can't we're gonna do just like a mini potluck thing I honestly think we're just ordering dominoes, but I am gonna make some dessert. They wanted brownies So I just got like brownie mix nothing, you know crazy exciting and then I also got peaches the other day and then I was thinking like, ooh, maybe I should just like wrap them in prosciutto. I feel like that would be such a good and cute little appetizer. So I think I'm going to do that. Um, so I need to get to work, but I need to start on the brownies because I know brownies cook way longer than cookies do. So let's get started. On the way to the dentist this morning, I was listening to the new What We Said podcast episode. So I'm going to hook it up to this little Google Home theme of Bobber and finish it while I make these brownies.
I am hyped because I get to unlock a new part of the bakeware set that I got from Caraway. I haven't used this pan yet and I feel like this is the perfect brownie pan if I do say so myself. Also, this has been making me want to throw up but I feel like I just need to use it and get rid of it. But like the last time Ryan used this, oh my God, the smell is like so disgusting. So, oh, I can smell it. Oh, just like the fake butter smell. You guys are probably like, why are you using it then? I just like want to get rid of it. So. I wonder if this is going to rise because I feel like that was a very thin layer. But I think brownies usually rise. Happy Wednesday. It is currently 6.20 p.m. when I'm starting this vlog. Um, well, this part of the vlog, I guess. Today's been just a busy work day and I kind of went crazy on that Amazon video because I really wanted to like impress them. So I went into After Effects and did like a lot of like animations, which takes so long. And honestly, my brain was fried after it. So I took a nap and I just like, I don't know, I don't feel very good. But apparently it's raining. Is it raining right now? Are we gonna rain? So, what'd you say? Drizzly? So we got ramen tatsuya. Literally the best freaking ramen ever. And apparently they're actually opening like a couple more locations, which is awesome because usually their wait is like insanely long, like hours, if you even get it to go. Like it's crazy, especially during quarantine. Like I remember waiting like three, hours and then they got our order wrong and we literally had to drive back and like get the broth like it was so stupid but so worth it it's so flavorful so i just get the show you ramen i feel like there's so many like tv shows what'd you say hmm? really? bridgerton bridgerton yeah i feel like there's so many tv shows and movies that i want to watch like on netflix and stuff but i'm not really sure so maybe we'll <sighs> Oh, something odd. I was literally just telling Ryan we should go paddle boarding like this morning, but if it's raining, then that's not going to be a vibe. But anyways, I just wanted to check in for Wednesday. Hopefully, I'll vlog a little bit more tonight, but I'm going to enjoy dinner, and hopefully, I'll feel a little bit better, and, and hopefully, I'll feel a little bit better after this meal. Happy Thursday, I'm feeling so much better today. After we got ramen, or after we ate it at home, we went on just like a sunset walk. It was so nice because the weather was like not that hot. I feel like I need to really just like go on more walks, especially to take advantage of like the sun going down or even just like really early in the morning so I don't get like too hot out there. But anyways, I'm feeling so much better. And I got some new hoops in the mail. I got these from Amazon and they're so cute. They're honestly a little bit more pricey, so I'm really, really hoping that they don't tarnish as fast. My other hoops were from Goriana, but these are like the brand Ross Simmons. I've never really heard of it, but I really like them. I just feel like they give me a little more like something, something. And I also really need to like try to do different hairstyles. This morning I was gonna do a half up, half down. But I don't think it worked because my hair was like a little too greasy <laughs> and so it didn't look that great. So I just did like a slicked back pony and I love it. 
I think it looks so cute. It's currently 9.30 and I have a shoot at 10 a.m. at a studio that I've shot at I think like three times now, but I love this studio so much because there's so many backdrops that we can use and it's just so versatile and the lighting's always really good and it's in the AC. So I don't have to sweat. My client doesn't have to sweat. That is, that is key, especially in this summertime. I'm honestly so excited for the fall and like fall shoots because I love to be like bundled up and take photos. Like it's just obviously so much more enjoyable than sweating your butt off. Quick OTD, these shorts are from Set Active. This little ribbed top is from Aloe. I literally need to get more of these because this is such a flattering fit. I'm not wearing a bra and I don't feel like I have to. It's kind of like a thick, like more of like an active wear texture or material. And then this is from Amazon. And then I got some sneakers on and pretty sure, yeah, Puma, so cute. And I'm about to pack my bag up and then head over to the studio. It's like literally in my area, so it's perfect. And then later on, I'm gonna meet Nagin at Greater Goods. We were gonna go to Soho House, but I feel like middle of the day is like so hard to find parking on South Congress. So I was just like, if you wanna go anywhere else, let me know. And so we decided on Greater Goods because the last time we went, our creative minds were just flowing and it felt so good and just like really good vibes there. So we're gonna go back later today. Okay, we just got to the studio space here with Bijal and she's Hi. getting all her Indian outfits ready. Love shooting with her because I just like live vicariously through all of these little langas. I'm obsessed with them. <laughs> and then this is the studio. It has like a little kitchen section. This is the studio, by the way, Mira Mira, if you guys are looking in Austin. Um, she said that it's 125 per hour, right? Yeah. And minimum two hours. But I don't know. She might be like increasing it because I feel like the first time I ever shot here was like 75 per hour. Wow. And then it went up to 100 per hour. So I think, well, honestly, it's worth it though because like look how many backdrops there are. It's insane. She added those disco balls and I'm so in love with those. Those are so cute. And there's like this whole outside space. So like, honestly, I totally get the price. It's insane, but very excited. Just got done with the shoot and the photos are insane. They're so epic. I'm so glad we finally like just decided to like get a studio because usually we just shoot outside. And right now, this is not a good time to shoot outside. It's too hot over here. Um, but I'm gonna go home. The Amazon brand deal people just sent over some edits. So I'm gonna get that taken care of. By that time, it'll probably be time to get some coffee, AKA macho with Nagi. Making avocado toast. I'm starving and that sounded pretty good and I also forgot I had sourdough and now I'm beating myself up because I feel like sourdough goes bad so quickly and I need to eat it like a lot in the next few days because I'm not sure how long I have left with it. I'm gonna try to mash it in the avocado because I hate wasting like multiple plates you know. Let's do some garlic salt. Ooh. Might have been a little much. Then crushed red pepper. Okay, and the best part about this is I'm gonna put honey on top. Tried to heat it up in the microwave. It's like not coming out. Yay, I'm excited. Mmm. Oh, always it's a spot. Exception. <laughs> How cute. Oh my here God. with Nagin at, is this our place now? I feel like this we come here place. very often. 100%. So <laughs> house could never. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and so house, I was thinking like parking would have been so awful midday, 
I was yeah. like, I'm kind of glad you said this. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm glad this was the vibe. Yeah, honestly. let's do it. For some reason, I've never gotten in a plastic cup here, but I love it. So cute and branded and this color of the matcha, 10 out of 10. <laughs> so pretty. Oh yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so excited. So we left the coffee shop, we were done with our matcha, and this girl literally left her keys in her car. Honestly, I was like low-key praying to the saints. Saint Anthony always comes in clutch. Because I literally thought it was in your bag. I was like, uh, me too. there's no way this bitch locked her keys in their car. Nope. We went up to the window. We went up. It was like sitting in her seat. In the, the passenger. Car keys. Wait, it just for like me. locks on its own or something? No, I locked the car from the inside. Oh, frick. I honestly like when one day you're gonna get the nicest car ever Aww. because you deserve it. Her car gives Not her some shit. Wait, I'm gonna cry. That was so nice. <laughs> no, but seriously, you've really had that car for a while. Mama's mm. had her for a while. <laughs> really long time. If you follow her on Instagram, you would know. I feel like you both stories yeah. about her. Car but car Sonali's maybe. such a good friend. She's gonna hang here for an hour. Yes. Longer. Well, I got shit to do on my phone always. So yeah. now I can just bug you about. The things you need to do for your oh little brand, lord so. <laughs> anyways going back into the coffee shop <laughs> you thought what better way to waste time than going to omg squee it was like a mile away it's been on my bucket list for so freaking long this is like one of the places from a queer eye episode i believe look how freaking cute this place is i'm shook okay look at all these matchas i'm kind of mad i already had matcha because this is why i wanted to come here no, it's okay. Guys, I caved and I got the hatch alarm clock. I was looking at this a couple months ago and I'm pretty sure like the day I was looking at it, it said it wouldn't ship until a month or two later. And I was like, what the heck? So I think it was like really popular and like sold out and everything. Then I saw another TikTok about it and I was like, I feel like I should get it. So I checked on Amazon and it was like prime. I was like, okay. Let's try it out. Obviously, this isn't an ad because I bought it myself, but like I said, this is the hatch alarm clock and basically it's a light. You can customize a sleep routine. There's sleep sounds and the main reason I really wanted to get it was for like the sunrise alarm. Basically, if you wanted to wake up at 7 a.m., I think it like starts getting brighter and brighter like 6.30, starting at 6.30 up to 7 a.m. So it's a gradual way to wake up and just like the ringtones and like alarm sounds are way, way less harmful to the ear than the iPhone ones. And I don't know, I'm really excited to like play around with it and see what else it has to offer. I know you can like customize it through an app. So I'm gonna download that and hook it up. I feel like my nightstand is pretty crowded already though. Cause I feel like I charge a lot of my stuff on there. So maybe I can move my charging stuff like to my office i probably should do that i literally like charge my camera batteries on my nightstand which is kind of weird but um yeah it's a little crowded right now and i have a lamp on it i feel like i never really use it though because you have to like kind of like click it under and it's just not convenient but like i'm pretty sure you, well first of all you can turn it on with your phone i think or this little button up here so i feel like that's easier Anyways, let's go set it up and then see what the app looks like because I'm very curious about that. This is honestly so embarrassing, but this is the current nightstand. Something needs to change. <laughs> this is the hatch. Those are all my camera batteries, my Laneige lip balm, Apple Watch charger, phone charger. We got the Samsung projector. Also, I think I talked about this in one of my other vlogs that I was buying a shelf. There is the shelf and the Velcro strips are not doing a good job of holding it up. So I need to figure out a different way to like make it actually stay there. The shelf thing came with screws, but I'm not really sure I really want to screw it in there um, in case I just like want to take it off because I'm not really using it that much. But then we also got my portable charger charging. The lamp, of course. So yeah, I definitely need to declutter this ish because this is honestly, like I said, so embarrassing. Connecting my hatch. Hello. Okay, so it's saying that I have to keep my phone open for nine minutes on this page.
So I guess it's like updating or something. Mm -hmm. And I'm curious because it says like this membership thing. So I wonder if I have to pay for the membership because I thought all this like came with the app. So I'll be very upset if it doesn't or if it's not included. Like, I don't know, it doesn't really say you have to pay for it. All right, guys, it was too good to be true. Yes, you do have to get a membership for like a lot of the stuff, I guess, but like the main things are free. I'm not really sure. Honestly, I'll probably get sucked into purchasing it because I always do, but basically, oh no. Oh no. I hate when cameras do this. All right, you should be able to see it now. Now I can choose like my, what is this, sun? Oh yeah, my sunrise. I think I liked this one better, the Malibu Sun. You can't really see the difference, but this one's more like blue. Oh, I keep forgetting my lamp is on. I'm like, oh yeah, that's really bright. Maybe I should turn it off and see how bright it is. Do you think that's bright? Mm. Like, is that going to wake me up? It likes 6 a.m. in winter. Yeah, is this going to wake me up? Well, dang. All right, we'll go with Malibu Sunrise. Okay. These are the alarm ones. Which one do you the like? Ones? Yeah, I guess so. Morning Bird. This is Meditative Fleet. Wow. Wow. Sounds like a Bollywood movie. <laughs> No. Maybe we're gonna build up. No, oh, hell no. I like the second one, I think. <laughs> SRK enters dramatically. <laughs> you guys are Indian, you know who SRK is. I'm not Indian, I know. Oh yeah, I guess if you know Bollywood. Okay. What time do you want to s wake up? Eight. Eight? 7.15. Let's do 7.15. Oh no. <laughs> I wonder if you can set two alarms, but I guess you would have to like climb over to the bed to turn it off. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah, he has the off-brand one. <laughs> He got for Christmas and he doesn't use. He used it for a while though. Why'd you stop? Because I don't have, I don't have my important calls. I said it. You what? I don't have important calls. I said it. Oh. I have to be at four. All right. Let's do seven fifteen. No. Yeah. Let's do eight. For tomorrow, at least we can change it later. I don't really have anything important to get up to. Okay. Yay. So basically, to start the routine, you have to press it once. I think, yeah, that's the ocean thing. But how do I get it to turn on the light if I like the light? I'll have to figure it out. Happy Friday. It is 10.30 a.m. and I completed my 10K steps. I honestly didn't do it every single day this week and that's okay. I just kind of want to like keep it in the back of my mind. Like if I have the time, I should just go and do it. But it made me feel so good. And now I'm making another avocado toast, but I think I'm going to do it differently because I forgot that I had arugula in my fridge. So I think I'm going to put some prosciutto arugula. I used up all my fig jam. So I definitely need to get some more fig jam, but maybe like balsamic glaze on top. That sounds so good using the same bread. Just got some sourdough from Easy Tiger, which is like a bakery here in Austin. It is hair washing day, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> it was definitely a hair washing day yesterday, but I tried to like push it just one day because I wanted to do like a cool hairstyle. Like I feel like I should take advantage of those days when my hair is greasy and like throw it up into a hairstyle I don't do every day just to, you know, spice things up, switch things up. So that's why I did that little sleep ponytail yesterday, which I honestly loved. Like I really need to do that more often. Um, I think in one of my other vlogs, or maybe I wasn't vlogging that day, I did a sleep ponytail with like a braid in it. And I also really, really liked that hairstyle. So I just wanna like push myself outside of my comfort zone a little bit more. But the reason why I brought up hair washing day is because I really wanna go swimming today. Or 
I don't know. Because we were just talking about maybe going to the lake tomorrow, a different lake. It's called Canyon Lake, and I think it's like an hour and 15 minutes away. Ryan, is it like between here and Houston or something? What? Canyon Lake? <clears throat> Or maybe San Antonio. San Antonio, maybe? Um, anyway, so we might do that. Should I just not wash my hair today then? It is itchy, so maybe I should just go ahead and wash it. My issue is, like, since my hair has been dyed black, I feel like the toner and the dye just, like, fade so quickly if you wash it a lot, which, honestly, I haven't even been washing it that much. It's just, like, my hair wasn't really grabbing onto the dye, which sucks, because then to get it done more but um yeah that's why i kind of like don't want to wash it as often if i don't have to especially not back to back so maybe i'll go swimming and like try not to get my hair wet and do another slick back bun day we'll see we'll see what the future holds for me gonna do some garlic salt For the prosciutto, I like to just like kind of cut it up a little bit because I hate when I get like a big bite of prosciutto and then I have to like drag it off the toast. <laughs> so just little bite-sized pieces. to go to the golf range before swimming so we can get even more sweaty and honestly I feel like I like to hit balls like when I'm in the mood but then after like two swings if I don't hit it right I get so frustrated like golf just makes me so frustrated which obviously you can't be good at anything or everything but Ryan loves it don't you? Yeah. Where are we going today? We're going to Morris Williams uh, driving range today. It's cool. I'm in a flannel. <laughs> it's happening, guys. Fall's coming. It's freaking crazy. I mean, it's not gonna come for me for, I don't know, how many more months? Like August, October, November. So I guess like two more months, which is kind of fast, but I feel like it definitely gets colder in other places. A little bit faster than Texas, but I took a nap because I was just in the sun all day. Then I woke up to an email from a brand asking where my content was. And I was like, what in the world? <laughs> I literally put all the dates, like approval, posting in my calendar right when I signed the contract. And now I'm like looking back through my emails, like frantically trying to like understand what the hell happened. And so I'm like freaking out. And then I emailed her back and I'm like, hey, there's been a confusion on dates. Can you text me? And I guess there was a change of dates and she didn't really clarify. And I'm like, what the frick? Luckily, it is only stories that I have to do and not like go out and take content because then I would be freaking out. She said I could send it in tomorrow morning, but I actually have to post before noon tomorrow. I'm just like so confused. Like, why did they change the dates and why did they not say that they were going to change the dates? Like, I'm so shook at that. But I'm just going to do it. So I literally decreased our AC to like 69 because all the stuff are like fall sweaters. So I'm gonna need that AC right now. Before I change out of this outfit and change into the next one, I wanted to show you guys how freaking comfy this one is. This is the Always Cozy Ribbed set. And this whole haul is like a Vici haul. So it'll be on my stories tomorrow. So probably after you guys see this vlog. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'll try to link my discount code down below because I don't know how long it's gonna be going on for, but it's 25% off, which is kind of a lot. And seriously, this is like the most comfortable freaking outfit. I will be wearing this a lot in the fall. Not just yet, because like the weather does not permit this, unfortunately. I filmed the stories and now we are gonna go to dinner at this place called Makoko. We've already been there and the tacos were really, really good and I'm just craving a margarita. Um, so we're gonna head over there. But I wanted to unbox my road package. 
I purchased these, but basically I didn't really want any more skincare just because I feel like I have so much that I barely have the time to try out like new brands just because like skincare is a routine, you know, like I don't want to be confusing my skin every single day with new products, but I do love me some new like lip balms, chapsticks, like I love having like any of that around. So I did want to try her lip products. So I got two of the flavors. One is in like the caramel scent and then one is the unscented. Because honestly, if I just saw the caramel scent online, I would not be really into it. But she said it smelled really, really good, which obviously it is her own brand. So she would be talking highly of it. But I thought I could try it out and see. Okay, so let's see, which one is this? Okay, I'm guessing this is the caramel, so let's let's take a sniffy. Okay, like, yeah, it smells like caramel, but nothing, like, insanely, like, wow. And it's unscented. Okay, let's put on the caramel, and maybe I can smell it more. Because my lips are kind of dry right now. Mmm. I do like it. It's very like, it is more like a lip mask in a way. It kind of feels like the Laneige, but kind of like a lip gloss. And this is what it looks like. It looks good too. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna put this one in my purse. I need to pack my purse and then we're gonna go to the restaurant. We don't have a reservation, so please pray for us so we can eat fast because I'm starving. to end this vlog last night but dinner was so good and then we came home and watched i i think it's i love my dad i love you dad and that's the movie with claudia saluski in it we literally started the movie at 10 30 and like 20 minutes into it my eyes were drooping and they were so heavy i was trying so hard to stay awake but i didn't so i need to actually watch the rest of that today before it like the rental period is up um because i got it on amazon prime and i think it was like seven dollars at first when i saw that i was like wow that's a lot but then i'm thinking like okay that's literally way cheaper than going to a movie theater so like i don't really mind paying for it after i like thought about it you know if you guys are not already subscribed to my youtube channel definitely hit that subscribe button because next week is like i don't even know <laughs> a lot of changes are happening one really really exciting and good thing and one really really sad thing so i'm going to be posting two separate vlogs for that and i'll probably maybe do a week in my life still but definitely make sure your post notifications are turned on i think those vlogs are going to go up monday and tuesday or monday and wednesday so keep an eye out for that and if you guys aren't already following me on instagram go ahead and do so it is so underscore gnarly without the g and i will see y'all in the next vlog bye